ជាមានអភ័យអាចសិទ្ធិនឹងពិតជាមានអារម្មណ៍រំភើបរីករាយមែនតែដែលបានមកទីនេះចំណាយពេលជាមួយលោកអ្នកបងប្អូនទាំង
And when you are being oppressed, it is difficult to overcome that. And, and in your own strength, you cannot. But God has help for you to overcome. So God spoke to Gideon and said, you have too many people. If you go with 30,000 people, men, and fight them and win, you will take the credit for the victory. And God has victory for you, but not in your own strength. Sometimes we try to overcome with our own intelligence. Sometimes we try to overcome with our own persistence. Sometimes we try to overcome with our own ideas. And God is saying to you today, you will overcome on a team and not by yourself. Amen. Amen. So God spoke to Gideon and said, too many men. You need to get rid of many of them. So Gideon said, if you are afraid, then you can go home. And 20,000 men left. That's a lot. I want everyone to stand up in this room. And look at your neighbor. Now, I want... Uh, count off and two of you sit down. Two out of three sit down. So let's do this. Let's do this. This side sit down. This side sit down. And half of this side sit down. Half sit down. Half stand up. Okay. I want you to see how many stayed with Gideon. Everybody on this side was afraid and they left Gideon. And everybody on this side was not afraid and said, we'll stay with Gideon. Say with me, Yahoo! Oh. <laughs> That's great. So they were not afraid. But I want you to see everybody who was afraid. And I want you to understand that fear is very common. Sit down. Fear is very common. A lot of people are afraid. How many of you have ever been afraid? And I want to encourage you today that when you join God's team, you have to say no to fear. Gideon had 30,000 men. And only 10,000 said no to fear. If you do not say no to fear, it will control you. Let me tell you a story when I was growing up. When I was in university, I, was, I had a very difficult school year. And I came home for a break in the middle. And at that break, I told my parents, I'm not going back. 
I was about 20 years old and I said I'm not going back and you can't make me go back and my dad was very strong with me Sarah why don't you want to go back and I started to cry I was really upset and I said dad don't make me go back you can't make me and my dad said to me with great wisdom Sarah you are afraid to go back to school and if you run from fear now it will chase you for the rest of your life and I said you cannot let fear control your decisions. God has great victory for you. But you must say no to fear. Say with me now, I will say no to fear. Say it again. But I also want you to see another thing that happened with Gideon. He started with 30,000 men. 10,000 said no to fear. And God said to Gideon, still too many. You need a smaller army. And so Gideon brought them, brought 10,000 men to a river. And he watched the way they would drink water. So some of the men would get down and they would put, ooh, I want to see you. They would put their face in the, in the river. And they would drink with their face down. But some of the men brought the water to their mouth. What is the difference? When your face is down, you cannot see anybody else. But when your face is up, you can see who's next to you. You're aware of other people. And you can watch and see. And you can protect your friend. You're aware of what's happening to them. You're not just self-absorbed. And family, we cannot be self-absorbed. Only what you can get. Only what you can have from, some, from your own self. We have to be aware of our community, of our family here. Turn to your neighbor and say, you are important to me. Turn to your other neighbor and say, I am aware of you. And let's all say together, we are family. Amen. Amen. So with Gideon, he had 10,000 men. And only 300 brought the water to their mouth. We have to be in community. So if we are going to walk in the victory God has for us, we have to say no to fear. And number two, we have to be in community. Hold your neighbor's hand and say to them, you are family to me. Now, 
Now with these 300 men, there was one more thing. So Gideon takes an army of 300 men. And how many are they going to fight? 120,000. 300 men against 120,000. How many of you know that was a big ratio? And sometimes the things you face and the obstacles you face seem very, very big. Those difficulties can look impossible to you. 300 men fighting an army of 120,000 seems impossible. But these 300 men had no fear. And they had family. How many of you will do the same? You will say no to fear. And yes to family. Because when we do this, nothing is impossible. Because we are on Jesus' side. But here is number three. These 300 men took a big risk. These were the weapons that they had. 300 men fighting an army. And the army has uh, knives and spears and bow and arrow. And a highly trained army, very, very effective warriors. Gideon's 300 men, these were their weapons. A trumpet, a flashlight, and a pot. Three weapons. How many of you think that was not very effective? And sometimes you look at what you have and you think it's not enough. I don't have enough wisdom. I don't have enough energy. I don't have enough wealth. I don't have enough strength. You may look at what you have and say it's not enough. And these men could say that's crazy. But they agreed to follow God with Gideon. They stayed on their family. And they said no to fear. And because they said no to fear, yes to family, and they took a big risk, God gave them a huge victory. Seriously. Shortly after midnight, Gideon separated them into teams of 100. And they went up on the hill, three locations, and the army of 120,000 below them. Gideon gave the signal. They broke the pots, turned on the flashlight, and they blew the trumpet. And then they said, the sword of the Lord and Gideon. And then they said, the sword of the Lord and Gideon. And the army of 120,000 came woke in confusion. 
เฮ้ยประตูมาตีตีเฮียนสตรอปบอลเกตตับปีมันเนี่ยนั่นกิจับดำเฮ้ยสลังกังพี่แกล้งวิ่งวนไฟติ้งแล้วเราพอสมสมาสมัยจุ่มวิคิมต้องออกคณีปอลตีเฮียนตับปีเมินเนี่ยรถไบค์ใช้คณีดอยซาตายมนุษย์ใบโรยเนี่ยนี่ฮะคือจีเอาไว้ในบ้านการล้างน้องสมรภูมินู but it is because of no fear ดอยซาแต่ขมิ้นเตะสิ่งใดภัยคลาน family กรมกรวซา and number three taking risk ให้จำนวนตีใบคือเฮียนเทอร์ในกิจการมวยได้มีนฮานิเพย์ taking risk when God is leading เฮียนทเวอร์กิจการฮาลิเพย์เนเปได้ประชิมจากจีนเนี่ยได้ดักนอมบาสเซนจีนเหมือนประองค์จีนได้ดักนอมเต้อัดอัดเล็กตั้งจัดไอทเวอร์เต้แต่เมื่อพระองค์ลุกขึ้นมาคนไทยได้เป็นประองค์ดักนอมเยอะให้เยอะในจวบในครมครัวสามมวยยินดีใจถ้าอัดเต้เพียบเพียบคลายแต่กับพระองค์ไม่ได้มีอะไรที่จะทำให้เราไม่ต้องกังวลเลยและนี่คือ And this is important for us. This is important for Phnom Penh. This is important for Cambodia. This is important for Cambodia. Not only fellowship, but family. Cambodia needs us as community. Because we have hope and love and light in our hearts. And God can bring salvation to Cambodia through us. God loves this country. God loves Khmer people. And God wants to share His love not only to you but also through you. How many of you would say yes to that? Let's say yes to that. I have said yes to that. And I invite you to say yes with me. Because God loves Cambodia. God has good things for Cambodia. And God wants to work through us. So in a moment, I want to pray for you. Because I think some of us have a difficult time with fear. God wants to encourage us that we do not have to live controlled by fear. And I want to also minister some Bible verses. I really enjoy doing this. Because I have seen God do incredible things. When God ministers specific things to individuals. Amen. So the first thing I want to minister is to this girl through here with a pink shirt. Bonsrai, yep, down the aisle, on the aisle with the black, yep, exactly. Akun Chan. So, I have a Bible verse to encourage you. And your friend can write down for you. Because it is important for you. For you to hear this well. And let this sink into your heart. You ready? Okay. So the Bible verse I have for you is 1 Corinthians 2.16. Let's read that together. Tak nak nak sekolah kumnet robah prajimaja. Tak 
นี่ยนะไอ้ไฟโยบอลเปรอะองบานรีไอ้ยังวิ่งยังมีนกุมนัดรบบเปรอะกรีฮาย You are going through some difficult seasons right now. And I feel in my heart that you're kind of in a, a little bit of a test. And you are studying for this test. And it seems, it seems like it is very, very um, stronger and bigger than you, more difficult than you can do. มีอารมณ์ท่าเกิดการมันไม่ได้ปีมีอารมณ์ท่าเบียดทมให้ปฏิปิบะสำหรับโป้นองการโยกเชียงนองการชลองกัดเวีย But God wants to encourage you มันแต่พระเจ้ามันจะสอบปะฮาเราได้เลิกตั้งใจโป้นท่า That you have the mind of Christ สมัยโป้นมันมีนจิตกุมนัดโดยเจี๊ยบแปลกริ And along with that ให้นึกน้องข้อกุมปีจีมวยกันได้ Is Isaiah 40 verse 13ขึ้นนึกน้องสัพเพอไอซายจุ่มปุกตีซายซับข้อตีดับเบย And it says ได้บังมันใจท่าตาโนนาทรงแปรปิญญาในแปรองมจ่าตาเนนาเฟอร์จิตีปรักษาช่วยกุมนัดแปรอง And God wants to encourage you ให้พระองค์สอบพาไปเลิกตั้งใจปอนเตียนท้า That when you study นับไปได้ปอนกับปงแต่เรียน That you do not need to worry and fret ส่งปอนกับคลาน You have the mind of Christ ปอนมีนจิตกุมนัดบ่แปรกรีฮอยฮอย And God is bringing to your remembrance ให้พระองค์มาดมลักเวลังวิ่งขนองกาจองจำบ่โจบ่ปอน What you study And giving you supernatural understanding. Hey, nung aoi nung pranya yang pisah dan mabip ang krong kajol ketika de pon rian. Don't let the test intimidate you. Kom aoi kah prolong kah salabong teng ahnu bompai pon. But you have the mind of Christ. Pon tapi pon mincet kumnet doji prakri. And because you have the mind of Christ. Tapi pon mincet kumnet doji prakri. You retain information well. And the test will not overcome you. And the test will not overcome you. But you will overcome the test. And the test will not overcome you. But you will overcome the test. And the test will not overcome you. But you will overcome the test. And the test will not overcome you. But you will overcome the test. And the test will not overcome you. But you will overcome the test. And the test will not overcome you. But you will overcome the test. And the test will not overcome you. But you will overcome the test. And the test will not overcome you. But you will overcome the test. And the test will not overcome you. And you have your arms crossed. I bong prom net dai ang koi trat dai bong prom. Bong prom. Sa. A kun chan. A kun bong prom. So the verse I have for you. The ko kampi dek chong mien samrap bong prom kue is from Ezekiel chapter thirty-seven. Kue mau pi sepel Ezekiel jempuk ti sam sepram pi. And in verse in verse nine. Nakrong ko pram buan. God wants to encourage you. To speak life. There are some things that have been against you. And there has been death that seems to surround you. And because of the opposition, it feels like things have died. And God is saying to you, speak life. The Bible says the power of life and death is in the tongue. And you need to choose to speak life. Because when you speak death, and you continue to confirm the impossible, then you continue to have death. But if you will speak life, and not be moved by what you see, but you will speak life and speak health into the situation, it will turn around and begin to come alive. Do not speak your discouragement, but speak life. Choose to look at God who raises from the death. Because with God, resurrection is possible. So speak life. And you'll see resurrection. Amen. Amen. Okay. So I want to pray for those of you who are struggling with fear. 
Because this was the first obstacle the team had to overcome with Gideon. Two out of three men could not overcome the fear. And they left and never saw the victory God had for them. But we want to walk in the victory God has for us. And we don't want to be controlled by fear. Amen. Amen. So everyone who has struggled with fear, I want you to stand. And because I want to pray for you. And God has victory for you over fear. So if you have ever struggled with fear, please stand. And I'm going to pray for you. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. God has not given you a spirit of fear. But of power, love, and a sound mind. So let's lift up our hands. Because we are surrendering to God. And giving our fears to God. So Father, I thank you for each person in the room now. I, I thank you for this family. I rebuke fear now. I command it to leave in Jesus' name. God has not given us a spirit of fear. But of power, love, and a sound mind. Fear leave. Love come. Where there is perfect love, there is no fear. So we invite your love into our hearts, Father. And we reject fear. And we thank you that you help us walk in victory. And no more fear. So say with me now. Goodbye fear. And hello love. In 1 John it says perfect love casts out fear. So whether wherever you feel afraid, invite God's love into that area. And let God's love run the fear away. Amen. 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 All right, my family. It is good to be with you. And I know God has good things working through you. You're our family and we are doing big things with God together. Amen. 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 Pastor somebody? Yep. No, okay. ដំណាំបងប្អូនការដែលយើងរស់នៅជាក្រុមវិជួយយើងនៅពេលដែលដំណើរជីវិតរបស់យើងមានមកពេលទៅពេលយើងត្រូវការគ្នាទៅវិញ